Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Java programming for beginners. In this video, we will see how linked lists work in Java. Linked lists are similar to array list in a sense that they can contain value or list of values. But basically, those, those two things are totally different in terms of performance and in terms of usage also so let's see how we can uh, use links lists in java so first of all uh, to declare a link list you need to uh, use this keyword called link list and in angular bracket you give the data type of uh, the list you want to make and then you give your variable name is equal to new instance of link lists okay and for the first time when you write this code it will give a use little error because you haven't included this link list class which is there in java.util so you just need to hover over link list and then you just need to import link list so just click this and it will import link list class in your program now to add the values you can just do it something like this name dot add and then you can add your name so for example some name you can add and some more name you can add like these and to access the values in the list you can use uh, this for loop or advanced for loop as we can say and we can just use this something like this name is our list name and then you can just print this x and when you run this program you will be able to see your list something like this now in order to add some more values if you want to add the more value at the top you can just use this list dot add first and you can add a value at the top of this list something like this okay if you want to add the value at the bottom you can do it something like this name dot add at the last okay so you can add this to the last so for example I want to add Zach at the last so whenever I run the program you see in my list at the top the name Jack is there which we added at the first add first using add first method and at the last of my list there is a name called Zach which we added using add last method in a similar way you can remove first and last value by using remove method so name dot remove last it will remove the last value name dot remove first and it will remove the first value okay so once again run the program and it remove Jack and Zach from the list okay now if you want to uh, remove all the data you can just write name dot clear and it will clear all the data from the list so something like this and nothing is printed if you want to uh, get the size of this list you can just print it like this so name dot size and it will print the size of the list run the program and our size of the list is six because it contains six elements okay there are some other methods for example you want to add at some particular position you can add it also for example I can add name dot add 
and add can be overloaded so you can give the index of the element for example i want to add at index one uh, some element for example index one element okay and run the program and now at the index one i have this index one zero one right so you can add on the basis of index also in a similar way uh, you can remove on the basis of index so name dot remove at index one it will remove patrick because at first or zeroth index jack is there and at first place or first index patrick is there so now it's removed and we have only five elements okay so there are some other methods like uh, set and get method which you can use to set and get the values for example you are not happy with the name patrick with small p at the starting you can change it to patrick to the capital p so you can just write set at the index one because Patrick at, is at the index one. Zeroth is this one. Patrick is one, and we will remove this. Otherwise, it will remove the first index, and then we can just write here Patrick with capital P. Okay, and then semicolon and run the program, and it adds patrick with capital p so it changed this name with this name so setting changed the name or modified your list at the particular index so there are some uh, other method and uh, which you can search by yourself you just need to write the name of the list and dot and here comes all the method which you can use to access the values to the list insert values in the list sort value there is a method called sort so you can sort it and you can even check if the uh, list is empty or not and there are so many methods which you can just use and see what suits your requirement so i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now